Hey, how's it going, everybody? Uh, it's been a while since I've had a video. Uh, I did get a new computer. So I got a new laptop here, so I got the uh, System76 Galaga Ultra Pro. It's an awesome computer. It's got that Iris uh, graphics card. I throw, threw a couple heavy games at it. I actually have Windows dual booted and just wanted to see how it could do. It does pretty well. Uh, probably everything I'm going to need it to do. Uh, anyways, I started off with Gen 2. And I got it all the way loaded, got awesome configured as you see it here. And I had trouble with the webcam. Couldn't get the webcam to work. I would just come up with a green screen instead. And I, I found that Gen 2 is just a little bit too much tweaking required. You know, I too much tinkering. You know, I I tried, I gave it a, a solid effort as much as I felt like doing. And I I just don't have the time to get into that kind of detail. Like M player would come up and it wouldn't maximize, so you had to configure in player's config file. I mean, it just got so deep that I just, I got it working, <clears throat> but I just got tired of not having a webcam and all that. I uh, couldn't get uh, FFmpeg to work as well as I wanted it to, and I'm sure there's some library somewhere I missed, but it was just a little bit too deep, or some use flag I missed, but uh, it was a little bit too deep for me, so I went back to Arch. I think this is about as deep as I want to go. And another thing is Gentoo still using init. The, uh, init.d setup so Arch and the systemd is much faster anyways so I just you know I'm happy here with Arch I'm gonna stay here uh, I did make the switch to uh, EA is just a, a uh, if you watch my other videos it's a shortcut shortcut to the awesome uh, configuration file so I, I did go to awesome 3.5 uh, it's not as different as I was worried uh, you obviously start off with the base deal and I, I actually, you know, I, I was pretty lazy on this one. I just went to uh, go ahead and go to my uh, pasteman page. Uh, one of these has my RC in it. I think it's this one here. So this is my old RC. Uh, biggest difference I found things like uh, text boxes. It's got to be a text. Yeah, here we go. So off of it. Uh, Anyways, they're just slightly different in Awesome 3.5. Um, but I, again, I said I was lazy. I, I basically went to, uh, I'm just going to open this up, copycat, killer, get hub. Uh, I went to his configuration here. Appreciate it, by the way. Luke, I think your name. If you watch this, appreciate it. Thanks for, the, uh, for having this. But anyways, he's got pretty much everything here. I started because I really liked the uh, MPD widget, so if you go up here I can hit uh, start and pause and it's you know interactive. The vol This is the volume, so if I hit the down volume, you'll see down, down, and it'll actually interact with it and uh, yeah it's pretty slick. You can hit like a shortcut to weather perfect weather right now but anyways it's a good starting point uh, another thing is uh, this thing like this uh, I can't get the display to come up but uh, it, it's got a set up here so if I do HD and I go to yeah I already have it set to 17 to trigger it but uh, let's go ahead and reload it you're gonna see it warns me that the home partition is running out because I said it if it hits 17 then then uh, uh, give me a warning, so I'm going to go ahead and change that back. I think I had it uh, to 90 and reload. So, you know, things like that are pretty cool. Uh, I like this setup. Um, and I just I just went line by line. I, I literally, I would just uh, go to this and let's go to the top. And you just go to uh, I believe that's the holo. And you just start copying stuff in. It's it's a little bit different the way that he uh you know defined things like uh the way that Yeah, so the way that some of these things are called, like where the uh git directories are. But uh yeah it works pretty well once you get it once you get it figured out. Just do line by line, reload, make sure you don't break it. Eventually they'll get it. That's gotta be the easiest way to go. Uh, I did upload this to my GitHub page, so if you go to, uh, let's just open GitHub, my, my channel here, so if you go here, oops, why is it not showing, uh, 
I'm pretty sure I have my GitHub up here. Let's just do a search. Now let's just go to Google. Why is it not showing up? Oh, maybe it's not. Uh, yeah, I need to check. But anyways, if you go to my uh, <coughs> GitHub, I'll make sure that it's that it's public. Uh, I did upload all my configs. And why isn't that showing up? Hmm. That's just gonna open. I'm gonna look one more place here. Give me, give me a minute. No, I didn't save it. And let me search. Advanced search. There we go. I don't know why that didn't show up that way, but that's it there. So I have my uh, everything in here, the RC, the themes, the scripts, all everything's in here. So if you did want to do a, a to try a Git clone, you can just use this here. But uh, yeah, so that's there if you want it. You can give it a try. But that's about it. Just wanted to give an update. I am going back to Arch. Uh, did get the migration to 3.5. If you have any questions, really the best way to go, it's kind of hard to answer over YouTube. Just uh, just pick your way through the RC. Uh, this is my current setup. Seems to work okay. Uh, you do need to make sure you have Vicious installed and all those types of things. And then just uh, Git clone should work. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. And I'll talk to you later.